Hey, you guys. Uh, today I want to talk about Trump's meeting with the Clemson Tigers and the big uproar about uh, him serving burgers, specifically McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's, to uh, this now infamous college football team. Um, this outrage is ridiculous. I mean, Trump can't seem to do anything right in the media's eyes. I mean, the man invites a college team to come eat in the White House and feeds them out of his own pocket. And the media complained because he served them burgers. I mean, you think college kids want to eat caviar and lobster? I mean, like you think that's what, <laughs> you think that's what they're into? The caviar, lobster, and, and French cuisine? Like, really? Like, uh, what? It's crazy. It's crazy what media waste airtime on. It really is. <laughs> this is news, huh? This is news. This is what's important, you know. Showing the president feeding college kids McDonald's and making fun of that. And not only that, but they fact-checked it. Because I think one of the statements was that uh, Donald Trump said that it was a mile high, all the burgers that they had, and they fact-checked that and said, no, it's not possible for it to be a mile high. I mean, they're, they're so out of touch with reality. Uh, CNN and all these uh, media outlets, news media outlets, they're so, so it actually makes them look worse, to be honest. I mean, no wonder polls show that uh, most people distrust the media. I mean, I could totally see the reason why. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was on Facebook all day long yesterday arguing with people about how they waste, I mean, because they were posting about Different people were posting about how disgraceful it was that that the president did that. And I was just on there basically posting about, wow, I can't believe you guys actually wasted your time. Waste your time in your post talking about what Donald Trump fed a football team, a college football team. I was like, are you serious? If this is what makes you angry in life, then it's about time you took a moment and reevaluated your life. Like, seriously, if if you're all riled up because Trump served McDonald's to a, a football team, then yes, you need to sit down, go meditate somewhere, and really take a look at yourself. Like, reevaluate your life, really. Because that's just, that's crazy. I mean, clearly that's out of spite. I mean, the fact that, I mean, when I saw that on the news... Uh, and and on, on social media that he did that? I mean, I, okay. Yeah, they, to me, that wasn't news. I was just like, okay, yeah, like, yeah, that's cool that he did that. And move on. But people who hate Trump st- st- stood on there, looked at it, and posted all these negative things about him. And I'm like, man, the hate is real. All this because of spite. Like, if you weren't so obsessed with the man and had Trump derangement syndrome, you'd see that and you'd see that as a normal, rational human being and be like, okay, that's cool, and move on to your day. But the fact that you have to stop, post, reshare it on your Facebook page and post something negative about it, that means you have some serious, serious mental disorders, like Trump derangement syndrome. That's really, really bad. Like, pure hate for no reason, just pure spite. Just to make the look man look bad, all because he served some people burgers, and that's what you did. That's what you used with your God given time, just to do that. A spite. That's crazy. That's I've I've never seen the kind of hate that Trump receives. I've never seen that kind of hate in my life. Never. Out of all the craziness I've seen in my life, I've never seen that much hate towards one man ever, ever in my life. And it's ridiculous, y'all. It's crazy. It, it really is. I think that's a real syndrome, the Trump derangement syndrome. I think that's a real mental disorder. I mean, to be honest, I don't know how Trump takes it. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of his term, he's like, I don't want to run no more. He vo- like If he voluntarily gives up even trying to run for re-election, because I wouldn't be surprised if he just said, I'm throwing in the towel, well, I'm, this is my last term, I'm done. Because the amount of ungratitude and... I mean, yes, just just the lack of gratitude and the lack of of respect and all the traitors that he has in his administration that leaks everything that he says is it's crazy. How could one man deal with all that negativity and be okay? Like he's taking it really well. 
I mean, personally, I, I, you know, I'll admit it. I don't think I'd be able to take that kind of negativity. I'd probably lose faith in humanity, to be honest. So, um, yeah, Trump can't seem to do anything right in anybody's eyes, and it's crazy. And to be honest, that kind of makes you root for him even more. To see an underdog like that get beat up for no reason, that just, that makes me want to, like, stand up for him even more. Because I'm like, yo, this ain't right, y'all. You guys know that you're not making any sense. You guys are acting kind of crazy about this whole situation. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Because I think this is ridiculous that rational human beings would waste their time getting on a man for doing that. And, uh... Yeah, just let me know what you think. This is crazy. This is crazy. But uh, I feel like we're going to be in for more interesting times ahead. And uh, politics have, has never been so interesting in my life. I remember a time when politics was boring. But now it's a, like a, you know, Emmy winning award movie. That's what, it's better than House of Cards politics. So, and House of Cards was actually good. But it's better than House of Cards. More entertaining. It's so... It's so it's entertaining. So we'll see what the next uh, couple of years bring. Um, yeah, subscribe to support if you want to see more of these videos. This is Reggie, a.k.a. The Reginator. Guys, have a good, good, good day.